What are you seeing here today is the world's biggest medieval trebuchet. There is nothing bigger. Warwick Castle was ripped page from 14th century history, and it just got it on the island. This one's a late design, based on the design of the 14th century, an Italian design, no less. This one is using manpower. It's predicated on manpower. You see the wheels here? There's a wheel opposite as well. Two people on either wheel. They're walking, facing this way. And as they walk, the axle between the wheels rotates. Attached to the axle is a rope, and that rope goes out the back of the machine and connects to the throwing arm. As that axle rotates, the rope spools. And as that rope spools, it gets shorter and shorter. About seven and a half times. Four people are raising in a matter of moments. And they're there. The arm's locked down by means of a trigger. Now you reckon that all we've got to do is take off the chain, pull out the pin, and pull the trigger. And the machine should work. The boulder should be thrown this way here. But not so. If you were to pull the trigger now, to take off the safety, all you would see is this machine would destroy itself. The arm would break. The box, the counterweight would fall. The wheels would jerk and break out the frame. The reason being is the rope that proved so beneficial and point that throwing arm down is now a hindrance. It's in the way. It's holding the machine in stasis. So what the trebuchet master does is he orders the men back into the wheels. Only this time they're facing this way so we can unwind the rope. This is the most dangerous part of the operation. It's the reason there's no democracy over here. He's the man who's in charge and he will tell everybody exactly what they will do. The reason why it's so dangerous for the winders at this point is, of course, um, every rotation of the wheel, done now, is done with no resistance. When you're walking this way, pulling down this throwing arm, every rotation of the wheel is done with seven and a half tons, slowing the wheel down, holding the wheel in check. But when you walk this way here, when you're unwinding the rope, that weight's locked up. There's nothing to stop those wheels going faster and faster and faster. They are heavily greased, and each wheel is a ton in weight. When you get that weight going, it will just get out of control if you're not careful. So we've got men on the back, they're controlling the brakes. We want nobody falling in the wheel, smashing their face on the slats, going around the wheel and breaking their spines on the axle. As I've already said, we've got volunteers, members of the public, who agreed to help us out. Six people, all dressed in red, walking in these wheels. And as I've already said, they're only doing a couple of minutes each. They're getting an incredible experience, something that not many people benefit from. But of course, they're only doing a couple of minutes. Trevor Shake team, we do the whole process in ten minutes. I do the wind and the unwind. I'm going to get six releases easily in an hour. There's many more if you possibly could, but six releases. And you never get a machine on its own like this. You get 10 or 20, maybe just 50. In the Crusades, Acre, we used over 120 of these oh, machines. Yeah. Incredibly powerful oh, and incredibly strong. Now, in a moment, this whole process, this prolonged process here, will finish. When we test fire this machine, we are going to shoot, we're going to launch a 15 kilo boulder this way, about 250 meters, at a mere speed of 170 to 175 miles an hour. We could do so much more. We can throw up 10 times that weight, 150 kilos. The optimal weight would be 60 and 90. Right, I think we're almost ready to go. The stone is loaded, and the trebuchet master will approach the safeties. He will remove the first safety, which will be a chain. You will see him approach the chain with trepidation, and he will shout, Chain removed! It's probably the most dangerous part of the thing for him, removing his safety. Chain removed! But now he's really got to take his life in his hand. He's got to remove the pin that holds the trigger. The weight of the, the count weight goes on the trigger at this point. He's still living, the pin has been removed, the machine is now live. 18 meters high, it's 30 tons. This thing is a monster. So we insist, wherever the trebuchet master works within the shadow of the, of the trebuchet, he has to wear for his own safety a little tin hat. Don't ask me why, it doing no good whatsoever. Good people of Warwick, are you ready? Ready! Three, two, one. one. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the <laughs> oh, trebuchet! Now, as I say in a moment, we'll open up the bridge, and if you want to come over and have a look at the beast, you're more than welcome to. If you're interested in volunteering for the next show, again, you're more than welcome to.